Hello, I'm Councilman Ron Bowen, and welcome to another edition of PSL Living. And today we're going to talk about an event that's going to take place in two months, a big event in Port St. Lucie, and that's a Relay for Life to benefit the American Cancer Society. And with me this morning is the chairman of the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life here in Port St. Lucie, Lori Finkel. Good morning, Lori, and welcome to PSL Living. Good morning, Ron. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I was so impressed last council meeting that uh, the city council and the mayor read a, pro read a proclamation of the American Cancer Society. And and the Relay for Life and what an impact it had in the community last year yeah. and what an impact it's going to have in the community this year. So I thought I'd have you on and uh, you know, have you describe a little bit or share with us a little bit more about the Relay for Life and how they can get involved, uh, the people watching this program get involved, and just a general idea of the, the fundraiser itself. Thank you, I really appreciate it. The proclamation was given uh, by Mayor Gregory Orvick. Uh, in honor of Relay for Life St. Lucie West this year. Uh, so in the city of PSL, Saturday, April 25 is Relay for Life Day. And you had, what, close to 600 people last year? Uh, last, last year we had uh, over 55 teams. 55 teams. With uh, almost 700 participants on those teams with uh, just a little bit over 3,000 attendees. Wow. So it's quite a big event, event that takes place at the Met Stadium. Uh, it's, we're in our 19th year at uh, the Met Stadium, and Relay for Life is actually celebrating its 30th birthday well, this year. And basically, Relay so for it's Life a huge it's, year. It starts yes. at, it starts at uh, noon and ends at, at midnight. Before we discuss a little more about the Relay for Life, I, again, I was still startled by the, the cancer statistics that they read last week. Uh, I think it was a million six of new cases diagnosed in the country this year or uh, next year, and then uh, a little over half a million people, well, close to 600,000 actually, of people passing away from cancer. You know, we think we have a handle on it. And and we still haven't cured cancer. So this is really important and really timely, the, the event that's coming up. It is, and that's why uh, we celebrate those who have survived cancer. We fight back with research, and we remember those who have passed. And I think you and I talked to Lori uh, briefly that we all know somebody, a neighbor, a friend, a church member that's gone through cancer or cancer treatments. I have a couple of my insurance clients and a couple of my neighbors going through chemotherapy and, and radiation right now for all types of cancers. And it just, you know, we can't get a handle on it. And hopefully with the Real Life for Life and the, the work that the American Cancer Society is doing, hopefully in my lifetime, uh, we can get a handle on it and start eradicating cancer. Exactly. That's our goal. Nice to. Well, I think I explained to you earlier that I was a, was not a participant last year. I was mm -hmm. a donor. I wasn't in the area to participate, but I'm going to be in the area on April 25th. And again, it's never too early to get started. If I want to get involved and, and have a team, what, what, what do I do? Uh -oh. so, so how do we sign, sign oh, me up there, We're going to sign you up today as a team. It's an official a recruitment. Okay. Uh, you'll be uh, a team along with the city of PSL and uh, the Port St. Lucie Police Department chief has signed up online as well. And we can get you signed up at at relayforlife.org forward slash St. So I can have my own West team FF. and I can you compete against team. the chief of police? Yes. I oh, want you to recruit a, all the other well, commissioners and the mayor. The, yeah. This is an appeal to the public right now. If you want to be yeah. on a winning team, uh, the Bowen Brigade, uh, call us uh, the city go. council office and uh, walk with us. They can walk uh, as little as, uh, what, an hour one, with pledges or it, one know, lap? The, we have people that do one lap and we have people someone, that do, yeah. absolutely. Uh, but the event is kicked off with survivors all in their commemorative purple t-shirts and uh, when you see that sea of purple it is an amazing sight it's very moving uh, and sometimes they just walk that one lap and then there are others that our second lap is the caregiver lap sometimes they can get around the track with wow. their caregiver wow okay yes. this is going to be something i'm really looking forward to and again yes. there's people that walk five hours or run you know, walk run walk they or can involved. do whatever they want that's what that's it's the flexibility and the greater part of the event is that it's a fun, friendly, family event. You can walk one lap, you can walk 10, you can walk 12 hours. Um, Relay for Life in St. Lucie West uh, this year is doing something completely different. Normally, 
uh, the event is from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning. It's an overnight event where all of the teams, you know, take turns sleeping and, and walking that lap. And this year we decided to change it up, make it noon to midnight to get the public awareness. Oh, very good, yes. More, you know, and, and the ability for them to be out during daylight hours. And it'd be so on Saturday, too. It's, it's, yes. it's a, a real good fit, real good fit. Yes, we're very excited. Well, listen, I want to thank you for, for coming and being a guest on uh, PSL Living. And again, it's a, a great cause, a great charity. And again, I know you're going to have a heavy involvement uh, in the community like you always have. And I really uh, thank you for chairing it. It's a lot of responsibility, a lot of work, and uh, you're very dedicated and you're a very special lady. Thank you very much, Ron. I appreciate it. We'll be right back after this message.